around uh, five years of experience in SAP C4C. I worked in both uh, SAP uh, Sales Cloud and Service Cloud and have a little bit of uh, knowledge in marketing and ECC <laughs> system and those kind of uh, systems as well. Apart from that, uh, technically I'm working for around four hours in SAP C4C. So initially when you, uh, when I stepped into the C4C, you need to get uh, get a good knowledge about the system architecture and uh, system flow. First uh, main thing is uh, you need to have uh, like a small functional knowledge as well to get into uh, technical. So I was doing that and uh, uh, for the first one year, like uh, they didn't allow me any technical things. And apart from, after that, I was working in technical uh, side as well. So this is about me and I have worked around like uh, three to four pro implementation projects on all the functional and uh, technical parts and uh, like uh, moving uh, uh, transport and those kind of things also I have worked and uh, uh, yeah that's about me and uh, you can explain me about your background and uh, how many ex how many years of experience you have what kind of technical perspectives you have worked on so those kind of things you can tell yeah okay. i'm tanuja uh, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm working as an associate like in a company sap c4c so mm -hmm. technical consultant so just, okay. i just want to know uh, like i am into a project but i have poor knowledge on coding and programming so that is the reason um, okay yeah. yeah so how many years of experience you have you're a fresher no, no i'm an associate yeah uh, i just have four months of experience that's it four months experience oh, yeah, just, yeah. just now you have stepped into the corporate world yes yes okay cool yeah thank you thanks okay hi yeah, yeah. Uh, actually no, so yeah uh, i have the no uh total years of like four one or four and a half years i have the total experience the relevant experience in the c4c i have the 2.5 so currently i'm working as you know the c4c functional consultant so to my no uh take my career next level so i want to learn in the technical part also because technical i'm not even enter in you know like even the single basic like you know the um bodr or something so i'm not even mm -hmm. not uh, getting the end of this part so so i want okay. to learn the you know, technical also mm -hmm. okay. cool. yes. yeah mm -hmm. then we'll start with the demo for right now uh, for this demo i'll just uh, explain you about what is uh, c4c and uh, what all the things are there and uh, uh basic architecture and uh, how you will create a solution and i'll just show you around uh, what how sdk will look like and uh, what uh, ui will look like and those kind of things i'll explain in this demo so uh let us step into the <clears throat> so uh in for like we are starting with the technical perspective okay so that's why i am uh, directly stepping into the cloud application studio but uh, when the yeah sana hello nothing right okay so uh, that's why i am directly stepping into the cloud application studio so when we enter into the course plan uh, obviously you need to know some something about functional parts then only you will understand the whole uh, scenarios what kind of things you are going to develop and how it is going to look into the uh, ui and those kind of things uh, so uh, this is for this is just for an uh, overall high level uh, understanding for you what you are going to learn and how the cloud application studio is going to help you to grow in your uh, career as a technical consultant so i'll tell you like uh, the scope for uh, SAP C4C technical consultant is uh, very huge uh, right now because a lot of companies is getting uh, projects in SAP Cloud for customers because uh, they, SAP is progressively developing and uh, introducing new uh, things and a uh, lot of uh, new new features are they are, uh, they are introducing into the SAP C4C. So, the main thing to use c4c is like it is compatible with lot of uh, 
external systems uh, like you can easily connect with outlook and uh, ecc systems and uh, data migrations will be easier with the uh, data workbench uh, cb i think you know the uh, you, you are working in functional right then you know about the yes, functional part oh, yeah how it is easy to uh, data migrate the data and a lot of uh, advantages are there in c4c likewise uh, I, I think for my understanding and uh, for my knowledge uh, for the next five years uh, c4c is going to be in boom so i think uh, you the guy you guys are learning technical it's going to be easier for you guys to grow in your career yeah. and uh, but, uh, yeah Tanuja, something okay. sorry sorry okay no issues I thought you were saying something okay uh, like uh, technical uh, uh, talking about the technical and coding parts uh, you just want to know the basics like uh, if you, you guys have uh, uh, definitely known about any of the programming language uh, to work in uh, sap cloud for customers you just need to know about some scripting parts that's it even if you don't know about like javascript or any of the scripting languages it's not uh, an issue because uh, uh, for me, like uh, I am also uh, not that much good in programming language before when I started uh, when I stepped into the uh, corporate world. So you know, learning uh, ABSL and developing in uh, SDK like SAP C4C is the easiest part in my career because yeah, it all the things it will be there already predefined and uh, you just need to know how what it does and how to uh, access that. Uh, uh, codings and uh, function uh, already uh, like standard uh, fu functions and standard workflows and those kind of things you just need to know what is what and how to access that and a little bit of logical thinking that's it and you're good to go with the sap c4c the main thing is you just need to explore um, more by yourself uh, even uh, i can't tell you like the one to hundred percentage i'll just tell you like how to access this and how to access that and how you can code you code using those kind of things so that kind of knowledge i can give you and i can give you some practice things uh moving forward and uh, you you can work upon yourself and if you have any doubts or you if you're stuck at some some point you can just reach me out at any time i'll just uh, <clears throat> i'll just help you out uh, on that okay uh first we'll know the sap cloud application studio for, uh, for the sap cloud solution enables sap partners resellers and customers to adapt and enhance the solution oh, capabilities wait, of uh, sorry to interrupt jay uh, did you share the screen jay because we are not able to see any screen sorry sorry, sorry, sorry. no problem thanks Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes, Jay, we can see your screen. So, uh, what is SAP Cloud Application Studio? The SAP Cloud, Cloud Application Studio for the SAP Cloud Solution enables SAP partners, resellers, and customers to adapt and enhance the solution capabilities of the SAP Cloud Solution. It's like uh, the uh, SAP Cloud Application Studio is nothing but the uh, like uh, software that is used. Uh, hey, uh, Jay, sorry to interrupt. Uh, actually, we have a new person, Shiva Prasad, in the call as well. Okay, uh, he is basically a fresher and wanted to go for C4C okay. technical. Shiva Prasad, uh, if you don't mind, can you please introduce uh, yourself once? Yes, ma'am. Myself, uh, sir, I said, I have completed my graduation B.Tech from Indiana University in the year 2021. I have attended a SAP basis course in six months. Sorry, I'm not getting you. I have attended a SAP basis, man. A SAP basis. basis. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Six months duration. Okay. Basically, okay. I'm from Andhra Pradesh. Okay, good. That's all about me. Okay, uh, I I am Jay, and I'll be taking the training for the 
for the SAP C4C technical and I have around five years of experience in SAP C4C sales and service. So we'll catch okay. up on the coming upcoming classes. Okay. okay. Sure, I'm, I'm just starting to uh, explain what is uh, giving you a overall uh, view about what is SDK and what you're going to learn in the SAP technical parts. So I'll just, uh, I'm just starting. So you haven't missed anything. Okay. I'll just start. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, uh, the SAP Cloud Application Studio ah, is chapter. like enabled. <coughs> Hello. Ah, sorry. Shiva, can you mute your? Uh, yeah. Like it will allow partners, resellers, and customers to adapt and enhance the solution capabilities of the SAP Cloud solution. The thing is like uh, the SAP Cloud. Uh, like SAP service cloud or sales cloud or anything yeah uh, the SAP system will be provided uh, suppose if you are working in a, a company okay uh, like uh, for example you can take Infosys Infosys is getting one SAP C4C project and they are going to implement that uh, solution first they will go to SAP and request for SAP C4C system that is a service uh, cloud system so that is like SAP partners SAP partners is like SAP uh, partnered companies and resellers is like a uh, service based companies like uh, they will buy SAP uh, they will buy their product from the SAP so they are the resellers and customers is like Infosys will get uh, uh, get the C4C system and they will uh, modify the C4C system according to the customers uh, like the, the customer rep represents to the end end users suppose if I'm doing a business I'm doing a uh, manufacturing uh, iron manufacturing business okay so I want my all the data and customers and what are all the procurements everything the stored in a single system and I want the opportunity sales and all details into a single system so I'm a custom potential customer to the resellers resellers is like the in my case what I example Infosys is the reseller so they will buy product from the SAP and they will uh, customize the C4C system according to the customers needs and they will provide the solution so this is what this point is about uh, all the partners SAP partners resellers and customers can adapt the SAP C4C system and they can uh, uh, get, work upon the solution that is what this point is about and the second thing is the development tools provided are present in an integrated development environment that is IDE. IDE is nothing but the SAP cloud this is the this is what they will call as IDE okay this is what uh, SDK or what you can say is, uh, this is the name called SDK okay and using the studio you de you can develop deploy and test specific add-on functionality using this SAP uh, SDK uh, like C4C SDK, you can develop the things that you want uh, but according to the requirements of the business and you can just uh, uh, see the changes in the UI screen. Okay. Uh, furthermore, you can create and integrate new business content services and user interfaces to provide complete micro vertical business solution. It's like you can, ju you can just create some uh, new developments and integrate some other systems data into our c4c system and do and uh, manipulate the data of some other systems details uh, and uh, user interface also you can provide like uh, you can create your own uh, user interface like, according to the business need okay in the upcoming classes i'll tell you with an example okay uh, as of now you can just understand that you can just uh, modify the whole screen like this is what one system is about okay this is how the sap c4c system will look like and if you want to uh, these are all standard <coughs> standard double work centers uh, they will say like uh, this is they will call it as work centers and uh, if you take this report screen So you'll get this uh, report screen uh, according to this what all the reports are available those those kind of details you will get here and uh, this like the same thing the business is coming to you and they are saying I want the same screen like this and uh, if, in the name of some other things and I also want this report screen and I want some other functionalities to be made uh, differently uh, uh, based upon this screen so what you will do you will go and develop a same uh, screen 
like uh, like the same screen and you will include the additional functionalities that the business is uh, requiring uh, requesting with you and you will develop on top of this uh, sap c4c okay c4c system that is what this uh, point is about and system environment so in uh, you guys have stepped into the uh, uh, corporate world now right so there will be like uh, or in you can take any of the languages or any of the systems okay you will always be getting a development system and quality system and finally the production system you guys know the difference between these systems and why what are, why these systems are used for anyone Yes, I can. So, uh, for the no development, no uh, the what are the things we are going to customize in the standard screen or the, the no customized screen, so that we can use in the development tenant. So after that, we can uh, for the development we can test in that no uh, testing tenant. Then we can, if everything is fine, then we can move to the production for the uh, to use the end users. So what? Yeah, yeah. that is what uh, correct. So so uh, the development system is used for the developments okay the developments that you are doing are business needs okay all the developments new new developments that you are going to do is you have to do it only in development system okay and the quality system is for should be the exact replica of the production tenant okay why because uh, if you got if you get if you are getting suppose if you are developing some uh, new developments and you have transported transport is nothing but moving your changes from development system to quality system and uh, qu quality system to production system so this is what you called as a transport okay so don't get confused uh, when i use the term transport okay uh, so why uh, the quality system should be the exact replica of the production tenant is because when you move the changes that is transport to uh, development to quality and quality to production you are getting some bug okay uh, we will do the your testing before moving to the qu development uh, to quality okay but as a developers we will have a certain set of perspectives okay but according to business they might uh, use this uh, use our development like in many ways that we can't think of okay suppose if we have missed any of the scenarios that business is going to be using uh, they are going to tell that it is not going it is not working uh, like that they will tell so what we can do is we can just uh, replicate the we can't just go and uh, uh, try some new things uh, in the production live system okay so that is what the quality system is for they if the business is saying some something is not working and uh, these things are not uh, working as expected we will come directly to the quality system and we will try to do the exact same thing what user is trying to do in the quality system so in that way we will we will find out what's wrong in our logic and what's wrong in what we have developed and we will rectify it in development system and we will just try to uh, we will try to transport the same changes that we have done for the bug that they have created and we will just uh, move it to the production system like development to quality and quality to production so like uh, so the issue will be solved and the, the user business will be using the same production system they can't they will not have the uh, the end users will not uh, have the access for the quality system and development system us as a developers and testing team will have the testing team will have the access to the quality system and us as a developers we should we will always have the uh, access to all the three systems okay so that we can find out what's wrong and uh, everything uh, we, everything that is present in the system we can run it smoothly okay production is nothing but the live system always keep on thing the transportation flow will be like transportation flow that is moving
changes from one system to another. So this is what transportation flow. It should go from dev to quality and from quality to production. This is the flow. Okay, you you should not like uh, mess up this flow because it will uh, cause data inconsistencies. Okay, uh, suppose if you are doing some uh, changes in uh, uh, development and if you are uh, moving directly to production, it will it is going to cause you some data loss in quality and uh, uh, if something happens in production system, there will not be any uh, data for you to test in the quality system. So you should not like. Uh, uh, mess, up, mess with this direction flow, okay. And that is what I have here. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you is what is test tenant uh, that I have told you. Development tenant, uh, like I said, you develop your custom specific customer specific solution on your development tenant in your own company or organization. On this tenant, you can develop solution for different customers, okay. Uh, the finalized solution is then downloaded from your development tenant and uploaded and activated as a customer's production tenant. So this is what development tenant is about. Important points that you need to note is always move patch from one tenant to another tenant. To do the development activity, you need to create a business role with the PDA development work center views enabled. So this is like uh, while stepping into the uh, SDK development parts, I'll explain you this point. As of now, you should have the understanding like you need a separate business role in C4C system in, in C4C system to do the development activities in the SDK. Okay. As of now, uh, have this point in your mind and uh, there is no confusion in this. This is like uh, just a business role like uh, you, you guys are using Amazon, right? So there will be uh, you, you guys are in customers. Okay, so when you create your own account You will have a business role in the Amazon uh, uh, While using the Amazon like customer business role suppose the guys that are working in Amazon uh, app Okay, the app developers or site developers. They will have the admin role. So you got both of us that are using I have different different roles like uh, that is what this business role is about if you want to develop something, you need to create a separate business role. If you want to uh, be in customer, there will be a different role for the in customers as well. Okay, you don't want the want to have both the PDA development role and the functional admin role uh, both assigned for a single business user because you can't use the adaptation in UI. So if you are uh, getting like uh, using uh, like uh, PDA role and uh, that is development business role and uh, functional admin role as a functional consultant you will have a functional admin role. So if you have both the roles in a, for a single business user uh, the adaptation will not be shown in the uh, UI. So that is what the issue will come. So you should def definitely avoid this. You should have separate business user for uh, PDA developments and separate uh, business roles for uh, uh, functional uh, consultants okay and uh, the next thing is the solution types solution types is like uh, when you create a new solution this is what SDK is about and if you are going to create a solution uh, there will be well, this is the solution type okay you can create a two types of uh, solution one is customer specific solution and another one is solution template okay Always you you should choose customer specific solution because this is this is the solution that is used to transport from one system to another and this is uh, in this uh, using the solution template The solution template is basically used for like uh, uh, Suppose if SDK if uh, SAP is trying to uh, uh, develop uh, some new functionalities according to your business need, okay uh, it's going to be used for across all the all the uh, companies and uh, this uh, this process some so, so for example you can take like uh, I am a business owner okay and you are a end user uh, I'm a business owner and you are a developer so if I I'm asking one requirement to you like this requirement can be used for many business outside the world okay so the if that is what uh, 
uh, they are going to implement means uh, we will uh, we will have a limited access like uh, certain things we cannot uh, develop in uh, c4c okay uh, so in that case we will reach sap and sap will tell okay we uh, from your side you can't uh, do anything and we will try to develop that from our side because the back end is uh, totally running upon abab okay uh, c4c system is back end is totally upon abab so they will uh, develop that uh, code in uh, abab and they will modify it they will turn that into sap absl and those kind of things and they will they will try to run it as in the sap uh, uh, sorry absl and they will introduce that uh, new solution to the c4c system to so for us as requested they will introduce us into the solution that we are going to request so while transporting that changes to our c4c system they will use this solution template so that is what the solution template is about uh, for example if we create a solution template we can just give our development uh, developments to uh, to some other uh, to some other uh, uh, projects that they are going that they also want if they want to implement the same set of solution to their projects we can just provide them with this solution template create the create our solution as a uh, solution template and we can just provide the patch to them so they will they will uh, incorporate the changes and they will <coughs> use the uh, solution to their to their needs but uh, there are some limitations as well using the solution template i'll tell you uh, in the upcoming classes okay because if we take that it will go into the long period of time that's why i'm not uh, telling uh, just now uh, no like when you create a new solution in sap c4c you have two different options one is customer specific solution and another one is solution template okay and coming to the system architecture that you have three different architecture three different layers in the architecture one is the presentation layer presentation layer is nothing but the ui interface here you can see yeah so this is what uh, the presentation layer is about uh, this whole ui is called uh, uh, the presentation layer okay and the application layer is the business logic what kind of things that you are doing here in the solution is is what it is called uh, the application layer the things that you are doing this is called the bo okay xbo uh, this is for enhancing the ticket uh, screens and if you scroll down this is a uh, one absl file that i have created for example uh, this is the logic that i have written for some requirements that i am working on uh, so if you see here uh, this is what the logic is about all these things will come under the application uh, layer okay and the persistence layer nothing but the database and the search index here in a sap c4c you cannot access the database because that is associated with the sap so we can we don't have the uh, access or we don't have the possibility to see search uh, see, practically see the database we can just use the query option to see what are the things that are available and those kind of things uh, we can do okay this is what the architecture is about and uh, the languages we we are using are uh, while stepping into sdk you you will learn absl scripting language uh, before that you will learn about bodl and uh, the third thing is uh, ruby script it's like uh, uh, for uh, if you heard of uh, if you are a functional thing func functional consultant and uh, uh, if you are working upon c4c adaptation you will heard of uh, ui rules so what are the things that you can do using the ui rules you can just use using the ruby scripting that is for uh, in sdk that is why uh, ruby scripting is uh, used for absl scripting language is nothing but uh, the things the language that you're using here in the script files we will call this as script files and this xbo is called the uh, these things are called the bodl that that the data uh, elements and all the data types that you're using here in this xbo or bo xbo or bo 
you will call it as BODL and <coughs> the language that you are using in the event modify scripting oh, i'll tell you what all these everything uh, just have a overall understanding what is what like that this is what is called absl uh, scripting language this dot is it sales or unit dot this dot service support team so these kind of things is called the uh, absl scripting and uh, ruby scripting is like uh, the ui rules uh, replacing the ui rules in the sdk part so those kind of things you can use do using the ruby scripting okay in sdk so i think uh, our time is up and uh, if you have any doubts you can call me uh, you can ask now and uh, i'll tell you i'll try to answer it now and uh, if everything is okay from next week onwards we can start the actual classes and you can tell me what kind of learning that you are expecting right now and uh, according to that i'll prepare my uh, uh, prepare myself how you i can teach you guys and uh, i I just like uh, I have learned this uh, ABSL and those kind of things on my own okay so I know what kind of uh, troubles you will get into and uh, what how uh, how I can teach you like uh, because a SDK technical is like uh, two parts okay there are a lot of functionalities that you can use and there is also the coding part two things are there because if you learn the functionalities you will stuck with the coding part and if you learn the coding you will uh, you will stuck with the functionality first. so you 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 all need to focus on the <clears throat> focus on both of these things i'll i'll explain you and i'll try uh, i'll uh, give you a lot of uh, like uh, uh, examples uh, that you can work on and everything i'll try my best and uh, meanwhile i want to know how you want to uh, like teach how you want me to teach okay uh, that will be useful for me uh, if you have any doubts you can ask and you can also tell me yeah jay if a person is having no knowledge on a program uh, programming like a kind of mm -hmm. coding is it uh, difficult to learn absl no no it's really okay. easy it will give you it will give you everything okay i'll tell you there are a lot of shortcuts and the answer is within sdk itself so moving forward this is the easiest uh, language that you will learn in your career uh, if okay. you gain confidence in this language it will be really easy for you guys to learn some other language and uh, you will really you will get easy easily so don't be afraid on the on those topics yeah i'll train you at yeah. present like i i am working with sdk like i just know some mm -hmm. of the functionalities that's it and all okay so uh, i'm just stuck with the coding uh so i just want to uh, learn the scripting and all mm -hmm. okay no issues mm -hmm. we'll learn it yeah so what are the things that you have uh, working on right now tanuja any uh, small small things or uh, any developments that yeah, you have done? just i have like uh, just no like creating fields and all uh, and uh -huh. the data binding just the okay. functionalities which you have told other than the coding mm -hmm. and, yeah i know only some of the functionalities okay. not all okay. even yeah then it's fine yeah we'll train shibi you have anything and shiva Yes. So, uh, for my side, no. So, I want to learn the from the starting to ending in the SDK port within all those scripting mm -hmm. language, uh, BODL, ABS, and all the other rubies. So, uh, mm -hmm. these things, you know, um, we need to know end to end so each other and fundamental. What are the fundamentals in this you know, uh, scripting language having? So, how it's worked, then, you know, what are the things we, you know, how we can learn what logic we, you know, we are going to use on, you know, uh, different, different, uh, like uh, the, the needed source. So mm -hmm. what are the possibilities? So uh, these things and all I want to know. But on the function side, okay. there is no uh, no uh, no issues or something. So, so okay, yeah, completely focus on the only in the technical. Okay. Yes. Uh, what about you, Shiva? Shiva, are you there? Okay. No issues. Uh, Sana, I think uh, it's over. If uh, everyone is okay, we can start from next week. Sana, are you there?
Uh, one second. So currently you are working with some other organization or uh, only contacting? Yeah, companies? yeah. No, no, I'm okay. working. Okay. I'm just taking this like, I know like how I struggled and a uh, <clears throat> lot of things are there. So I just think mm -hmm. up took this training things. And okay, it will also be a good from... learning for me as well. I'm from uh, uh, Bangalore. Okay, all right, all right. My native uh... is like... Uh, uh, uh -huh. Coimbatore. I'm working in Bangalore. Oh my God. Okay. I think basically you are in Tamil. Yeah, yeah. I'm Tamil. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, Tanuja, you were saying something. Yeah, actually, like I just have a small concern. Like, how much time will it take to learn ABSL? See, yeah, it's like. Uh... You will get it very uh, easily because if you do, uh, have you worked upon any scripting before? No. <coughs> no, right? I have so, zero uh, knowledge on scripting and all. No, no issues uh, because initially when I, I started my career in C4C, okay. So yeah. when I got into uh, C4C, uh, I was also this much afraid and uh, I don't know that much about the scripting uh, things and all. So when I stepped into it, it's like very, very e easy for you. All the things are inbuilt and uh, the SDK is really user friendly and it will give yeah. you one second. And it will give yeah. you a lot of uh, 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 predefined uh, fields and uh, everything. You don't, need <coughs> you don't need to search for anything in the uh, SDK it will give you the auto uh, things and also it will be easy for you guys to catch up and learn okay so no don't yeah. worry about that uh, it will be piece of oh, cake okay. for you yeah. okay if I think Sana is muted and she is away if you guys don't have any questions or anything, you can we can just wind up it up, wind it up. We'll just uh, you guys can give your uh, uh, thoughts to Sana, and uh, if everyone is okay, we can just start with uh, next week. Uh, you guys want Saturday and Sunday classes, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, yes, I've, it is fine. It's just like um, yeah, it's like uh, thirty to thirty-five hours class, uh, around uh, six or seven weeks. No, and, is that uh, enough you guys, to uh, complete the way and get things? Uh, if you learn for three months also, uh, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. okay. we'll, we will just cover up all this. I'll prepare uh, like one uh, uh, course uh, content. And if you guys want uh, some other things to be included into the course content, you can also, you can, it's all, all, always welcomed by, by me mm -hmm. uh, so that you guys will have that uh, knowledge. And uh, if, uh, if your project demands something that is not included mm -hmm. in the course content, you can also tell me. I'll just uh, tell you the overall high level architecture about that. And uh, we can just work upon some examples so that you can. Uh, learn those things as well but uh, in my course content itself i'll cover up all almost all the functionalities almost like uh, all the functionalities i'll try to cover it and uh, i think uh, you just you guys need to put effort on your by yourself then only you will get uh, to know how the system works uh, only by by training you can't uh, just grasp all the things that are there in sap c4c and uh, you you need to grasp like uh, work upon a lot of things i'll try it. i'll give you uh, once you got familiar with 50 percentage of this uh, training i'll try to give you a lot of uh, uh, online uh, things that are blogs and uh, one video series or something like that so that you can uh, learn from that and you can just work on your skills to upgrade yourself so that uh, if you do that uh, around six to seven weeks, it will be you will be like masters in C4C. Okay. okay Even great. though right till now I haven't worked on uh, like one or two things, uh, it is there. But I uh, right in real time experience, I'm saying uh, real time business needs. Uh, I I also haven't worked on one or two things, 
but uh, it's it's really rare uh, those kind of things will come okay but you if you need to have you need to know what is what and how you can create that and those kind of things those kind of knowledge you need to get, have it so for that you need you you have to see a lot of blogs and uh, you you need to try it by yourself by uh, taking uh, your own examples and those kind of things if you do it's uh, yeah, I, I think it's fine six to seven weeks it's fine you can just learn everything yeah okay i think okay, that's we good. can just okay, yeah <clears throat> okay actually no so <laughs> basically i'm also from the tamil i know tamil nadu oh okay yes so tanuja what about can... you you sorry uh, jay uh, yeah yeah are you Tell are me. you from you are from uh i'm from andhra pradesh uh currently working oh, 